Did you know that the average person will spend about six months of their life waiting on a red light to turn green? <laughs> Looks like I'm riding a bike. Can you tell me about your comment from September 23rd at 3.42 a.m.? Or should I say, comments? You didn't think we'd notice, did you? Well, you can't just spam the whole community without getting canned. Our blockers always look forward to fresh meat. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Joshua Robinson here at HowTube, and today we're going to be talking about spamming other people's accounts. Now guys, what I mean by this is so often I see um, with small channels is that they start commenting on larger channels, uh, videos and pages and things like that. And basically what's being said is, hey, can I get a sub for sub? Can I get a shout out? Um, can you support my channel? And while guys, yes, those are all things that we want, but that is certainly not the way to do it. In fact, most of the time, guys, when you do this on other people's accounts, you will get marked as spammed or even blocked from that channel entirely. And that is something that you don't want. Now, YouTube as a search engine itself has taken several measures to make sure that things like that don't happen. Um, and so once you're marked as spam, once you're marked as a block account um, over and over again, YouTube begins to look into that. And then what happens, guys, is then they actually take your channel and even if it doesn't matter how many videos you post, how many people you share it to, YouTube will prevent your channel from actually being shown in the search bar um, on their search engine, which is something that's not good for your channel at all. Another big issue that I see with this is, um, it's kind of in the same field, is uh, people who talk about buying your subscribers and buying your views. And now there are um, certain websites you can go out to um, and pay and get subscribers and pay and get views, but these things actually are not good for your channel either. In fact, they go specifically against the rules that YouTube has put into their system that you agree to whenever you start a channel. Um, so basically what happens, guys, is when you start buying views and buying subscribers, YouTube also marks your channel as a spam account. Um, and also guys, it doesn't do any good to have just a bunch of fake subscribers and fake views because ultimately what you want is the interactivity on your channel because without the watch time, without the community, your channel's not really gonna grow anyways. Just try to keep that in mind when you're starting your channel, when you're trying to grow your channel because these things guys will not help your channel at all. Just as quickly as your channel was given, can be taken away. All right, guys, and I really hope that you found all that very helpful and hopefully a little bit insightful on what to and to not do um, with your new channel on YouTube. And again, guys, as always, if you found this channel helpful, be sure and give this video a like. Um, if you love this content going out, make sure that you also give this channel a subscribe right down there. And as always, guys, I love y'all and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you.